Hi, I'm uh, Issa Sadi Ebombolo, and uh, I'm the founder of Peace Club in, uh, in Africa and in, in, in Zambia in particular. Peace Club, we define it as an educational tool that um, we use in empowering young people and um, adults in peace and conflict resolution. And um, we have seen Peace Club, you know, changing the lives of individuals, changing the society, uh, 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 changing a nation for the betterness of, uh, of our young people and, and adults. So when I lived in Zambia, I said I think there is a need of, um, of involving the young people in a different direction because I saw how they were recruited and they were used in violence and I could see the energy that are in, the, in our young generation and said why can't we use the same the same energy, the same skills, the same strength that they have in an opposite direction towards peace instead of violence. And this is what motivated me to create or initiate Peace Club in Zambia. The first three clubs were uh, created in uh, the most dangerous cities of Zambia, the most dangerous neighborhood in Zambia. And one of these neighborhoods is called Chibolia. Chibolia means um, a rejected uh, neighborhood. And I thought this is the right place where to start a, a peace club. And uh, people had so many questions. What is this? Is this a political party? Or we have never heard of this. And Zambia has never experienced a war before because Zambia has never experienced any war since independence. And when I was talking about peace, people were wondering why? Why peace when we it's a peaceful country? And they didn't realized that there were a lot of um, structural conflicts going on, uh, 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 um, social conflicts going on, and people were not exposed to peace and conflict studies. They take peace as absence of war. And, and therefore, if a country hasn't experienced war, people have a little bit of resistance in uh, peace and conflict studies or programs. We have discovered that peace clubs are very, very important. And what we have discovered with education is that uh, education erases ignorance and raise awareness. So when people are educated, they are aware of some of the conflict that they ignored, that they, they, they were not aware of. In Zambia, for so many years, there was a law uh, which would not allow girls to continue with their education when they get pregnant while they're in schools. As a result, we had more men in working places than women. In, in Africa, very few countries have um, sexual education in schools. Some, some, some cultures take it as a taboo, and therefore girls were victims. And um, as Peace Club and with other non-profit um, or government organizations, we sat down and said, I think there is a problem here. Maybe people may not see this problem. So instead of fighting from the top level and say, we, there is a gender gap, and therefore we need more women in decision making, the argument of men is, where are these men, women that you want to bring? Where are they? We have more men because they are not educated. So let us start from the grassroots. So we trained students, boys and girls, to say there is a conflict here that hasn't been discovered. Which conflict is that? You boys and girls, you are involved in, uh, in, in sexual activities, and then girls get pregnant, but boys are allowed to continue with their education. And girls, you are not allowed to go ahead with the education. And this act, you did it together. So how do you look at this and say this is injustice? And when that word come from, from, from a student, we, 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 we say yes, that, that, that's, that's correct. So is there anything that can be done? And we try to learn what others has, have done out there. And, and we tell them to say, the skills you are acquiring, this is power that you have. And you can use these powers to, to change the situation. And the student, they stood up and uh, they Together with the women movement and the gender activists, they stood up and they challenged the government and this law was changed. 
completely. Right now, as I'm talking, uh, um, girls now are allowed to continue their education even when they get pregnant. They will be just given maternity leave and then they come back to school and they continue their education. There is a progress, there is a change, and we believe in 20 years from now, things will not be the same the way it is. So this is what Peace Club can do. My, my hope is that uh, Peace Club goes beyond the limit. We need to involve uh, young people, new generation, in, uh, in, in peace building so that uh, they can transform this world from violence to peace.